Don't forget to subscribe. Exactly. I was going to say that now. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how I achieved this look. It's just basically like a makeup. I think like a smoky eye with like hints of purple and on my lip and all that. But basically, if you want to see how I achieved this tutorial, then keep watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, to share and to like. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Starting out with my concealer, I don't mind my little dance. Um, I'm using the concealer in medium beige. This is from Ellie Girl, and I'm putting that all over my eyelids and blending that out with a brush. I don't know the name of this brush, but I'll definitely put a link below to where you can get it. After blending that out, I'm going in with my Makeup Revolution palette, and this is in Nudes and Smokes, and I'm taking that color as my transition color. I'm just putting that above my eyelids, just like to create the false crease and a deeper eye because I have hooded eyelids. And I'm taking this orange color from that palette, the Slick palette, and I'm using that to just kind of form a transition as well, just to make the brown a bit more subtle and like orangey, kind of. I'm just blending everything in with my e.l.f. crease brush and this is a really nice fluffy soft brush and I'm taking the transition color if you notice like all the way to the bridge of my nose. This is to create a deeper effect like to make my eyelids look like they're actually bigger than what they seem or what they appear to be. Taking my House of Tara primer, I'm just putting that on my lid. I love this primer because it makes your eyeshadow have like a very very huge color payoff and I'm just putting that on my lids and blending that in before I put another eyeshadow. I'm taking this two purple color from the Makeup Revolution palette as well. And what I'm basically doing is I'm just going to pat that on my lid. These are two different shades, if you can see. One is lighter and one is darker. And I'm just taking that with a furling brush and just patting down my lid from the outer corner and I'm working it in. Next up are these two eyeshadows. This is the black and blue. I really love the pigment of these. They're really like highly pigmented, just like a swatch. And you can see how pigmented they are. So I'm just gonna take these two colors. First with the blue, I'm starting with the blue from the outer corner of my eyelids. And I'm just taking that into the purple. And after that, I use the black at like the end. If you can see right there, yeah, at the end. So just, just to darken the blue and not just and give everything kind of bring the eye look together so i'm not just stuck with blue and purple i love the i love black colors at the end of my eye because it kind of depends the effect of any color you put there and now i'm done applying all my colors what i'm just doing it i'm taking the wet and well crease brush um, not this one, but <laughs> the next one, and I'm just using that to blend everything together. I'm taking a wipe and then a flat brush. I'm using the wipe to kind of wet the brush before I take on an eyeshadow so I can pat that into my eyes. Um, I'm taking this color. It's a really, really nice champagne color. I don't know, the light is too much, so you can't really see it. So I'm just gonna swatch it, and that's what it looks like. I really, really love this color. And I'm using that at like from the tear ducts, just the bits from the tear duct, then into my eyes. And after applying this, what I'm gonna do is just blend everything in so everything just kind of make the look put together i'm 
I'm taking the same eyeshadow I used on my tear duct and I'm just putting that um, at the outer corner of my lid. I drew this kind of like to highlight my lids so they look a bit bigger and I love that glossy effect without actually using a gloss. Then this brush to apply my primer underneath my eyes and after that I'm taking the same blue color that I used at the outer corner of my eyelid and I'm just using that to outline underneath my eyes after putting the primer and I'm highlighting my tear duct as well and I'm using a whiter color but I didn't show that sorry after that I'm using my MAC 4 lashes mascara and just to pull out my lashes for this look I'm not really using lashes because I just feel the eyeshadow is already over the top what I'm just going to do is just line it with a random liquid liner I can't remember the name it doesn't have any name sorry about that um, basically I'm done with my eye look showing you guys a close-up of it and after that I'm moving on to moisturizing my lip before I prime my face and do my eyeshadow I'm spraying the fix plus on my face to prep my skin and after that I'm using um, a primer this is like a face lotion plus a primer I use this in one of my videos and you can check the link below I'm using this bit uh, foundation in VG01 and it's a really thick foundation when I started it was really really thick what I'm doing here is blending out the LA Girl corrector and this is the color orange and I'm just gonna use a beauty blender to blend in my foundation and if I found that it was really really thick so I ended up using the foundation brush as well this foundation says it's for oily skin but I find it very very luminous even for my skin as dry as it is that's why you can see all that shine because of the sunlight it's just too much in it and it just brings out so much oil but I like it though because of my dry skin anyway I'm highlighting with my LA Girl medium beige concealer and I'm just putting that underneath my eyes on the bridge of my nose and underneath my is it jawline yeah now I'm just gonna blend that in with the elf contour brush and after this I'm going to bake with my banana banana powder in the sponge and what I do is I just basically pat that on my skin I don't really bake because then my skin is really dry and if I keep it on for too long I'm going to get like creases underneath my eyes and my skin becomes really tight so immediately I put that on I just sweep it off with the brush almost immediately and basically that's what I do after that I'm contouring with the Zaron stipple brush and the slick contour kit while editing I noticed that the contour looks a bit much but I promise you in person it wasn't that much And after this I'm taking my mineralized skin finishing dark and I'm just using that to just finish off the look and put the whole look together. I'm contouring my nose as well and doing that from the bridge of my nose and underneath as well. And after this I'm using the highlighter from the same slick palette, contour palette and that's medium by the way. Oh look at the highlighter, yes! Oh lord! And after that I'm applying the blush, the same one I used for my crease on my cheeks. And I'm highlighting my brow bone with an eyeshadow which was a bit too much so I have to use a serviette to clean that and kind of rub it off with the Studio Fix powder. And I'm kind of deepening my crease up because I cleaned everything. And I'm just using the highlighter from the Sleek Contour Kit to highlight my brow bone which I should have done before. Lining my lips with the Zaron Lip Pencil in bold. I think this is in bold. I'm using that to line my lip and after this I'm taking the House of Thera pencil in I think it's either a Shomole or Ovromole I have to check the name I'm sorry I'll just I'll put it just right here and after that I'm using the I'm gonna use the Towers Cosmetics liquid lipstick in Marrakesh and so that's basically it <music> So this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope you try it. You'll try it. Thumbs up if you like this video and I'll probably see you guys in my next video.